Hello friends, welcome to another Dinkum build. Here we're gonna be updating John's goods. Uh, when I started this island, um, before the spring update, this, I mean, I, this is what I did and I have not changed it since. Um, hey look, a Croco's coming to join in on the before tour. <laughs> that is not your computer screen. My internet was going a little crazy as I was recording this and so the quality is a little uh, um, not great. But I have hopefully resolved those issues and that will not be a problem going forward. But yes, this is John Good before. And joining me to help me update all this is Rainy Days and Rainbows, also on YouTube and does amazing videos. Uh, her name is Sarah as well, but I'm gonna refer to her as Rainy because that's gonna get really confusing. And it's also gonna sound like I'm referring to myself in third person and we don't wanna do that. So. <laughs> Uh, all the fun things there at the beginning. Um, so we decided to obviously fill in this little pond area that I had back there that was serving no purpose and just gonna expand the whole John's Goods area and make it look more like an actual store slash market. And my thought was to do, you know, a couple different levels because I do everything super flat, it seems like sometimes. And although it may seem not, it may not seem that way given that I just, you know, did the Grand Canyon not too long ago. But I promise you, when it comes to the town, I tend to be a little flat and I was trying to get away from that. And so my idea was to kind of have like a workstation behind his shop, you know, where he has, or like a overflow of stock and then like a marketplace area. And I brought Rainy over because I wanted to work with her cause she's amazing, but also to um, infuse some new ideas. You know, sometimes you get a little stale when you do these things, you kind of do the same thing over and over again and having a different person, you know, come in every now and then and, and do stuff with you um, can help bring new life. And I, uh, you know, Sunny Ann is obviously my partner forever and ever, but every now and then I want to partner up with new people just, you know, to give some variety. And also too, I've met so many super cool people that, you know, why wouldn't you uh, include them in all the fun? So now we're just, uh, she's working on the little courtyard area. She had this vision to do this little courtyard next to John's with a tree. And I was like, that sounds amazing. Uh, go for it. And she was like, are you sure? And I was like, just do whatever you're going to do. And if we need to tweak it later, we'll tweak it later. Uh, I'm, I trust you. That's why you're here. So let you go to town and I'm going to go over here and just throw some crap down and see if we can't get John's goods looking a little bit more like, you know, a store would look. Um, so I decided to pull out all the items that you would get in his store and, and then some. And hey, he's coming to check out. Hey, John, how's it going? He's coming to check out what we're doing. Do you like how we're updating your space, man? Uh, I hope so. Uh, anyway, I decided to put out some stuff, make it look like a crafting area or, you know, um, a workstation. And then just put out some other items here and there just to kind of give that fullness so it doesn't look too empty. Um, yeah, so this is uh, this is just kind of the process, going through, uh, pulling out things that I had in my inventory and running and getting more and, you know, putting things out. And here's what he would have in the back of his store is overstock. You know, imagine this is a back room, an open back room, if you will. <laughs> we'll fence it in here in a little bit, but um, I love the little, the food maker, but the, the whole tie-dye thing, kind of throws me off when it comes to design. So I was like, it's not looking right with what I've got out here. So I took it out off and, and put the uh, Billy Can fire, uh, fire instead. Obviously we gotta have some light. It's a little dark over here because we took everything down and started fresh. And um, yeah, so this is just us working away. Uh, Rainy has a video on her channel uh, showcasing this build from her perspective. So you'll get to see um, her building this courtyard since I'm kind of running around doing other things and you don't, you don't get to see as much of that in my video, you'll get to see that in hers. So be sure to check that out. It'll be in the link in the description below. There should be a little info card also uh, that'll have in the corner, uh, right hand corner of the screen. Uh, so go check out her video also on this build. Um, I really wanna do a lot more of these collaborative things and with other creators, have them record their perspective and you guys get the best of both worlds. Um, because you know, you know, when I'm sitting here working on my things, sometimes you don't always get to see what the other person is doing. We've seen that with <laughs> me and Sunny Ann in our videos on multiple occasions. And so I didn't, you know, I wanna be able to, to give praise where praise is due for all the other people helping out. And um, so yeah, Rainy's gonna have a video uh, of her courtyard, which in, turns out a beautifully in the end and was not something I would have ever thought to do. 
myself. And that's the whole point of bringing in all these other people. It's just to have, you know, new ideas to, to give you new perspective on what you do. So yep. Just setting out market stalls, you know, typical, uh, marketplace kind of thing. I wanted it to kind of feel like a market, like a, a community market, you know, a farmer's market, but not so farmer's markety. I don't know how to explain myself here because I kind of have a, a mini farmer's market over by the like the farm, but I wanted something that looked a little bit more refined. Like if you go into like a small town village area and they've got a store, but you know, next door there's like a little open air market area. Um, if that's making any sense at all, <laughs> that's kind of what the vision was here. I didn't have a plan. Me and Rainy did not come up with a plan. She, we, we talked about it and I was like, maybe we should just wing it. I need to get better at that. I'm, I'm a planner. I think we were talking about that in one of Jersey streams not too long ago. And I, I go over to people's islands during live streaming and they're like, design me something. And all of a sudden I'm just like, uh, what? Uh, and I don't know how to do anything. It's like, I don't, I've never played this game in my life. And so I'm trying to exercise that spontaneous muscle, go in with like maybe a very generalized vision, but nothing too, too planned out. So that's what this is. This is us just winging it, which is a little uncomfortable for me, but I think we ended up with a fairly, fairly spectacular end result once, you know, for, for lack of planning. If I can actually put items down, you know, uh, properly, that'd be great. <laughs> um, so yeah, no planning, but here we go. Like, uh, you know, it's coming together and we, we kind of had a limited space. I didn't want to expand the area too much because then I would have to move too many other things. And I really just wanted to update the look of this because it was just so plain and boring and small. And, you know, it's been this way for months and, you know, sometimes you just got to change it up. You don't need to do a new build. You can just reinvigorate the old ones, um, which is what I hope these, these kinds of videos do inspire you to do. Uh, this is fairly small area. We, I think we spent maybe two hours, two and a half hours on it. Some of that I had to step away and I think then she had to step away. So, you know. It wasn't too bad. Uh, some of it was just <laughs> logistics stuff. Um, but here you see me raising up uh, a little platform to put some things on because they were kind of hidden behind the items in front of them. And it was just also to give more height, more depth, more dimension um, in this little market area. And, you know, obviously we put down a ton of different types of items. I didn't want to overcrowd the space, but I also wanted it to feel full and uh, you know, hey, this is a market. This is where people go to shop and get their goods and there's various uh, things. We could have done quite a few different um, scenarios here. Um, but, you know, I like the way this turned out. It, it's simple. It fits kind of the natural vibe. There's a city There's a city element to it, but there's also more of like a natural with the tree. And Rainy brought that. She has a really great natural island. She's got buildings and some urban areas, but she's really good, I feel like, at the, the nat nature stuff, and I am not. So we made a great team in that way. You get, a, you get the best of both worlds. You get a marketplace, and you get some infused nature with this elevated tree and the rocks, guys. The rocks she put around the jacaranda tree, like, I, again, that's not a thing I would have ever attempted to do. I typically will build up the dirt and put down pathing or you know, make some sort of seating around it. And she did do that, but she also, by adding the rocks around it, I think it just created that focal point that wasn't really there before. So I really appreciate her bringing her ideas. Uh, I look forward to working with her again. Her, It seems like her and Sunny Ann have created a franchise for this ice cream parlor. Everybody's building an ice cream parlor on their island. And I told her, I was like, we're going to have to build one on mine because, you know, I can't be left out, obviously. <laughs> and um, I'm kind of... I'm kind of holding off on some things, though, because I'm hoping in the summer update we get more colored pathing tiles so that we can build uh, colorful buildings because, you know, the red and the gold is beautiful, but it's not really my aesthetic. And I'm kind of hoping that James in this new update will give us some colored, more colored pathings and we can do different kinds and different colored buildings because I would love to do a blue and white one. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I guess, uh, when that summer update comes out, hopefully soon, fingers crossed. Uh, and it's possible as the, the recording of this video, it has already come out. Um, 
because I do tend to do these uh, these big builds like this uh, and and edit them and then release and schedule them for release, you know, sometimes weeks, uh, weeks later. So I guess we'll find out. But yeah, we're kind of tweaking this little porch area of John's, kind of extending it out, giving it a little bit more room since we have the room to do so. Um, Rainy pointed out like, hey, maybe, maybe we make it just a little bit bigger so that there's room to walk, you know, assuming, you know, people would do that. So that's just what we're doing here is just extending things out just a little bit. And, you know, moving things around, you know, you, you learn as you're doing it, you know, our method is just sort of <laughs> do it and hope for the best, uh, <laughs> here. So, um, and of course we don't have any corner pieces. So we're like, okay, let's hide this corner with a tree. I do. I love trees. I love having trees inside my city area just because I live, I live surrounded by trees. I don't know how people live in deserts or live in areas where there are no trees, but this is my life, and um, even in the gaming world, I will stick uh, trees just about everywhere, <laughs> as you can see. Um, so we're kind of extending it down the side here as well, just to kind of open things back up. It was a little cramped, and we're like, you know what, let's give, let's give everything a little bit more room. We have the space to do it, so let's do it. So that's, uh, that's the scenario here. I've slowed this build down a little bit too. Um, I feel like as I'm editing, Oh yeah, four times the speed, that works. And then when I go back and watch it on YouTube later on, it's like, wow, this is super fast. And that's not how it looked to me when I was editing it and you know, doing you know, miniature playbacks as I was editing. Um, so I, you know, I'm still learning, I'm still trying to figure things out. Editing is not my fave and I'm not great at it. And so it's a challenge and I'm trying to do new things and um, you know, try to accommodate people. I don't wanna make anybody like motion sick or anything like that when watching these you know, uh, video playbacks. If they're too fast, you know, that's, that's a problem. So I'm, I'm gonna be tweaking things here and there just to see what's gonna work better. Obviously feel free to hit that playback speed and play this, you know, watch this at a faster speed. I'll sound like a chipmunk, but you know, um, I can laugh at myself, it's fine. <laughs> So now we've expanded the little work area and um, just given us a little bit more room, which I feel like just that one extra tile of space really did the trick. And I am loving it. So I really wanted to say community market, but it does, it kept the, put the Y on the second line and my OCD will not let me do that. So we did village market because um, then everything fit neatly. Uh, one of Rainy's ideas was to do like a little docking area where John received some of his supply. And I was like, that's a great idea. Uh, I had never thought to do that. Now, eventually I'll probably extend this river, uh, make, it, make it wider and, and make it a little more plausible that you could have boats come down the river and <laughs> dock and unload goods. Um, but for the purposes of this build, I did not do any of that. Um, maybe that'll be a future video. Uh, widening the river for economic expansion. Um, gosh, is that real or what? <laughs> anyway, I'm using the forbidden bridging there. Um, be very careful using that if you're using dev commands. It can glitch out pretty bad sometimes. And, you know, I think if any of you were on Jersey's member stream and you were seeing my uh, preview for the Balboa Park build, you'll see what I was talking about when it, it kind of makes it look like it's on stilts. And that's not, it's supposed to look like what you see here, um, a, do a dock or a deck. Um, so just be careful if you're using dead commands, using that particular bridging, it's not, it's, it's not in the game for a reason. I love it aesthetically, it's beautiful, but um, it, can, it can be problematic <laughs> when you're designing with it. So I let, I let Rainy basically take the reins and do this, the decorating of this back area, like call the shots and give ideas. And she was like, hey, let's bury some of the bottle trees and make these giant bushes. And I was like, that sounds great. Um, Cause you're like, if you're entering from the river area, it needs to look pretty too. And if you're walking around, you know, the shops, you know, why not have that area look pretty as well? And I may go back in and eventually add the sunken bushes on all sides. Um, but we were keeping this area more of a natural looking with more trees and bushes and flowers and all that. So uh, I love sinking the bottle brush trees, not the bottle brush trees, the bottle trees. Uh, <laughs> They, they look like giant oversized bushes. I don't know who the first person was who did it. I do know that um, I saw Steph Afa doing it in one of her videos. 
uh, I'm sure, you know, if I could find the originator, I'd give them credit. Um, whoever they are, thanks for that idea. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> I would not have thought to bury a tree to make it look like a bush. So, so I, sometimes you have to dig down four spaces and sometimes you have to dig down five. So that's why you're seeing me place the item and then take it out and then replace it. If you have to debug something, uh, well, there was the cheat code for that. If you if you if you want to write that down somewhere, um, it's pretty easy. You just hit the enter button, type in debug, and do whatever debugging you need to do. Usually, it's place item space negative one, and it'll take away whatever you just did. And then you um, hit enter, and then you hit enter again and write debug, and it'll take you out of the debugging sort of uh, mode. Um, so that's that's how you do that. If you're doing dev commands and you want to kind of yeah, fix a mistake <laughs> that you made by placing down something you didn't mean to. Uh, that's how to go about doing it. Um, fairly simple. I know there's probably tutorials on the, the Dinkum Discord and pinned uh, things with information on how to do this better um, than what I just explained it. But I will say that I am not a techie person and I have been able to do all of these fancy uh, dev command things with almost no issue at all, which is hilarious for me. But so now we're just kind of throwing some stuff out here, make it look like a, a dock that's being, you know, you're unloading some stuff. I was going to put the raft out, but again, that's also not an item that's really implemented in the game. And, um, you know, I'm trying to be better about that because maybe there's some things that James doesn't want us to see. <laughs> and here we are just throwing that stuff out here. No willy nilly. Um, but isn't this really cute, this little back area? And this was a mostly, this was mostly rainy. Like she just so great with like the placement of the flowers and the bushes and adds this little like natural space in the middle of this community uh, market area. I really, I really do enjoy the team ups with people cause it just brings a whole new perspective, trying new things, uh, having new ideas. Um, it's always, it's always fun. And obviously, you know, uh, steal whatever ideas you find and uh, take them for your own. So now we're kind of contemplate, contemplating, <laughs> if I can talk, how to do the walkway situation. Um, the way I had it before, you know, it wasn't great. It was like the little steps. It was fine for the beginning of the island, but as things became a little more sophisticated, it just didn't feel like cohesive with everything else. So now we're talking about taking out these planter boxes or at least one of them so that the walkway can just come straight on. I'm not sure what my reasoning was ori originally, you know, doing it this way. Uh, this is why you, we should update things from time to time because sometimes you're just like, what was I even thinking here? And uh, updating it can be like, oh yeah, all right, breathing new life into things. So yeah, we're just tweaking this area over here, even though it's not technically drawing goods, but it was, it's all interconnected. And since we were trying to make this area tie into every other place, um, you know, we included this little spot too. And when she was like, well, how, how, what, what plants did you have? And I was like, I don't care. Do what you want, <laughs> which can be infuriating to some people. I'm sure I'm like, but I, I also like to have people like, I asked you here cause you're so good at what you do. Uh, you do whatever you need to do to make it look good. I am happy with that. And I like that she limited it to the, the flowers that she did. I feel like it makes it pop a little bit more. And again, there's, there's just another example of, you know, sometimes less is more. I ended up putting the um, string lights over each of the little entranceways. The string lights don't give off a lot of light and neither do the hardwood ones. So, you know, I do throw in some glow buttons here and there just to kind of add more lighting when it's dark. We had this big empty space and we kept trying to figure out what to do with it. We did a couple of things and we ended up going with this idea and I like it. Um, if I figure out something else better in the future, we may change it. Um, I do like having these open areas that don't have stuff because I tend to I either make things way too open or I tend to um, <laughs> put way too much stuff in. So I'm trying to, to find that balance. But here we are on the final walkthrough of the update, um, admiring our handiwork, just kind of taking a look around, seeing what's what. I really, really love this central like tree courtyard area. I, I'm so glad that Rainy did this. It just really added something that um, was missing before. 
And of course, now that we have all the different market stalls, you know, putting those out. I varied up the colors, you know, I mixed and matched. Um, I didn't want to keep it one thing. I feel like, oh, you know, we got the colors. Let's use them. Might have looked a little more cohesive if I had used all the hardwood ones, but um, I never said I was going to be super fancy, so. <laughs> I do really love how this turned out, this back a little um, nat natural area. It's just, it's so cute from every angle and I think we did a fantastic job. If I do say so myself, Rainy, you were a fantastic partner to work with. I had a lot of fun chatting with you, getting to know you a little better and working with you. Um, we'll definitely have to do it again and hopefully by then my internet will be um, running way better. <laughs> and have less issues. Um, it's always a struggle for me with the internet situation. Um, but yeah, so here's Rainy. She got kicked out, so we brought her back. Let's do another walkthrough real quick where you're in the video. I, I hope everybody has, uh, you know, gets inspired and decides to update some of their spaces you know, I feel like that that's a little easier to, to try to bite off and chew, if you will, um, rather than some of these bigger builds that I've been doing. That's very intimidating for some people, and I totally understand that. I've been listening to what you guys have said, and I've tried to do a series here of a lot smaller things that are maybe a little more bite-sized and easier to digest and to copy and to do on your own. Because um, you can do this in an afternoon. I mean, if you're doing in the dev commands. If you're, if you're crafting everything, it might, <laughs> it might be a little harder. But... Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. We had such a great time working together and having so much fun building this. Um, I am definitely going to be working with Rainy again in the future, and I've got some other things set up for others. So yeah, look forward to that. As always, you guys, thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your input and for sticking with me. And uh, be kind to yourselves. Be kind to others. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>